Hi everyone. Here we go. Qualifying day for the 1993 Indy 500. Let's have a look, see at the leaderboard. It's Mansell on the pole so far. Fantastic, my God, 228.3 mile an hour. Eddie Cheever second, it's Ari Lyon in third. Emerson Fittipaldi in fourth. Teo Fabi is fifth. Wow, where am I going to end up? I'm thinking it's probably going to be around the mid range, midfield. But let's get out there and let's see how we can get on. This is going to be interesting. So far, car's been a real struggle. Apologies I've not put up many videos this last week but uh, it's been pretty manic at work and uh, I can't be bothered doing a video quite frankly for every single practice day and I don't think you're going to be that interested in them either. So I thought let's just jump ahead. This is an alternate universe after all and I can do what I like. So we've jumped ahead a few days and um, we're now at qualifying for the race. Let's just imagine that I was fastest on all those other days though, shall we? I think that'd be better. But, here we go, let's get the car up to speed now. So I've gone for a setup, which should be, in theory, should be a little more stable in the turns. Um, just to keep the car out of the walls that little bit more, because I just want to make sure that I get the lap done. And I'm not too bothered about where I qualify. I just need to get a decent run on the board. So let's just see what the first lap is over the line. I'm not really too fussed about that. But it's more turning in speeds. The tyres are still really, really cold here. Two, I want to get down to the eighth one. I've got to try and get my turnings for turn two a little bit earlier. Just one or two metres earlier. But I'm scrubbing tons of speed off. But let's just see where we go. So obviously I'm 30 seconds at the moment. In the run coming up to the end of the second warm-up lap getting ready foot's flat to the floor there back in stepping out that was good exit speed through there i'm quite happy with that so let's see what are we 228 29 30 over the line here we go so let's just see get her down into one just make sure she gets through the turn back end was loose and again through two nice exit nice exit that will do i'm quite happy with that I don't know where we're going to end up in the grand scheme of things, but let's just concentrate. 240 on the back straight away, we need to turn three. The oh, car was good through there, that was quick. Let's see what she does through turn four. A little bit loose back in, stepping right out. I'm going to come right off the gas there, my God, how on earth I didn't lose that, I don't know. That's going to really scupper the lap time. 220, it's not as bad as it could have been, I suppose. Steady through one. That wasn't bad, steady through two. Car's pushing a little bit, but not too bad through there. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be uh, looking at a pole position here, but I do want to get in the midfield if I can. So hopefully I can get somewhere up there. I'm not going to go flat through four like I tried last time. And that's a little bit better through there. That was quick. I think that was relatively quick, so I'm hoping this is going to be a 225 so far. But let's see, 223, well, not bad still. It's enough, it's enough. So, on to lap three of the four. Come on, come on, Joey. That was nice and steady through there. Whoa! Nearly hit the wall then. Got to just try and keep focus now. Going to get a 242, there we go, 242 on the back straight away. That's quite good through there. Little lift off into three, then flat out through the exit. Four, we're going to try and do this flat out. Yep, foot's not off the floor. So that's good. This is going to be quicker. Final lap. I think. That's like, yep, this is it. Here we go. Got to get turned in well. Oh, car pushing. Car's pushing. Lost a bit of speed through there. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Come on, come on, here we go. 2.43, am I going to get up there? Nope. Back end, stepping out. Oh, oh God. Come on, let's just go flat out 3.4 here. We've got to get a good exit. Not bad. Here we go, across the line. And what's it going to be? Where are we going to end up? Here we go, over the line. It's 16th. 
Yeah! All right, that's going to do for me. That's quite good. I'm pleased with that. That'll do. That's not bad, is it? Your first Indy 500 attempt. That'll do very nicely. Ooh, that was hard going. That very much was hard going. But it was fun. But how on earth I am going to um, win this race, I don't know. It's going to need some seriously good strategy calls. Pulling, run over my one of my mechanics. So that's it then. So 16th, 224.9 miles an hour. Well happy with that, people. Well happy with that. Well, as I say, that was hair raising. But 16th position for GP2 Joey for the Indy 500. Yes, please. Welcome back to live coverage of the qualifying session for the Indianapolis 500. And you're just in time to catch the final qualifier of the day. It's Joey Davis, 1991 Formula One World Champion. And we've got a special guest in the booth with us today. Take it over, Murray Walker. Well, this is sensational. I never thought I was going to get the chance to even qualify, to even commentate on qualification for the Indianapolis 500, let alone for a driver like Nigel Mansell who is the reigning world champion in Formula 1, but also his predecessor. It's 1991 world champion Joey Davis heading through the third turn. He's into the short shoot, he's into turn four. But what is his first flying lap going to be? Mansell is the fastest so far. He's got one, he's got 228 bars an hour on the board. But as Davis comes across the line for the first time, what's his first lap time? It's 220.4 mile an hour. 220.4 miles an hour. I don't think that's going to be enough for him to get the pole position today. But as Joey was telling me in the pits earlier, his main concentration is on getting into the race itself and hopefully getting into the midfield because it's 500 miles long and anything can happen. And it usually does in motor racing circles. He's into turn three once again, still staying quite away away from the brick wall that lines the completely there around the outside of this circuit as the back end steps out of turn four and he powers down the front straight past the grandstands he's across the line for the second time what's his lap time it's 223.2 miles an hour i don't think that's going to be fast enough at all for him to get even into the top five but perhaps he's going to get into the top 10 or the top 15 with that result but he's still got two and a half he's got two laps to go he's down the back straight he's reaching 242 miles an hour as he turns into turn three he clips the apex beautifully Fantastic driving from the Britain. And as he goes through turn four, is he going to be stable on the exit? He is, but he's still staying quite wide. I'm pretty sure that he could get even closer to the wall as he powers down the front straight. He's across the line for the third time. It's 224.9 miles an hour, so he's nearly five miles an hour faster as he heads into his final lap. He's into turn two now, but he's a little bit away from the apex. And this is the final lap that he's going to get to power down the back straight. But is he going to be able to do anything about Mansell? I'm pretty sure that he's not going to be able to beat Mansell's lap time. But is he going to get into the midfield, which was his hopes, as he goes through turn three? The car's a little bit unstable on the exit, through the short shoot. He's into the final turn on the final lap of his qualification as he comes out and his foot is planted to the floor. He's across the line for the fourth time. But where is he going to end up in the qualification results? It's 16. Davis is 16 with an average lap time of 224 miles an hour, 0.942. Fantastic result for the British driver. It's his first experience in Formula One and he, in the Indy cars and he's still racing in Formula One because he's gonna be racing next weekend in Monaco for the Monaco Grand Prix. And he's already won a few Grand Prix this year already. He's over here in the States trying to do what Nigel Mansell has done and take the Indy car series by storm. But it's Mansell on the pole. It's Davis down in 60. He won't be too disappointed with it, I'm pretty sure, as he heads back into the pits. What a fantastic performance from the Briton. So the final qualification results for the Indianapolis 500. It's Nigel Mansell, the rookie, on the pole with 228.310 miles an hour. With Eddie Cheever in second, it's Ari Leyendijk gonna be lining up on the outside of the first row. 
It's Emerson Fittipaldi in number four. It's Teo Fabi in fifth. It's Paul Tracy in sixth. Bobby Ray Hall is seventh. It's going to be Raul Boisel eighth. Mario Andretti looking to take his second win at the Indianapolis 500. He lines up in ninth position. It's Scott Goodyear in tenth. Alonso Jr. is the eleventh. It's Danny Sullivan in twelfth. Scott Pruitt is going to line up in 13th. It's Stefan Johansson in 14th. Robbie Gordon in 15th. Britain's Joey Davis, Nigel Mansell's nemesis. He's going to be lining up in 16th position with Roberto Guerrero in 17th. Scott Brayton is going to be 18th. It's Vassar in 19th. Mike Groff is 20th. Hiro Matsushita, he's in 21st. 22nd is Mark Smith, another rookie. 23rd is Marco Greco, another rookie. And 24th, it's Willie T. Ribs. 25th is Kevin Colgan and 26th, it's gonna be Olivier Griard, another rookie. 27th is Davy Jones. 28th is Brian Till. 29th is Buddy Lazier. And 30th, it's Robbie Bull, another rookie. And 31st, it's Ross Bentley. And at the back, it's gonna be Lynn St. James with 215 miles an hour. That's your lineup for the Indianapolis 500 on May 30th, and we will see you then.